Hey guys, if you are new, welcome. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. I'm still trying to figure out what time I'm going to be regularly uploading, so please remember to ding that bell, that way you are notified for future videos. Today I have very basic makeup on because I cleaned my brushes right before <laughs> filming this video, which was a bad idea. I should have cleaned them after filming this video, but I wasn't thinking. But anyway, it's not a makeup video, so it doesn't really matter. Today, if you haven't noticed by the title and the thumbnail, you already know that I am doing a Bath and Body Works haul. This is a haul of wallflowers, and I also have two of the like scent portables. So if you're interested in finding out which wallflowers I purchased, then just keep watching. There are three things that I always get at Bath and Body Works, and that is the hand soaps, which are number one. I don't use any other hand soap because I just love all their smells for every season. And also wallflowers and scent portables. I wish I could buy the candles because obviously if I love the wallflowers, then I love the candles. But unfortunately, Homer, who is he is who he is. If he sees anything cylindrical sitting on any sort of flat surface, he will knock it down. Because of that, I cannot have candles in my house, which is so annoying. He will just knock everything off. I then started getting really into the wallflowers and I kind of like it more because I can kind of be spacey and forgetful and forget to like blow out a candle or something like that and I would hate for my house to burn down. Plus, I feel like the wallflowers kind of make your whole house smell good, not just the area where the candle is in. Bath and Body Works candles are very potent and they are very strong and smell very good, but I just feel like wallflowers are a little bit better. Let's just dig right in. I went to Bath and Body Works the other day because they were having a sale on the wallflowers and I pretty much only go there when they're having some sort of sale, which is always, but um, if they're having a sale on the wallflowers or the soaps or the scent portables, those are usually the times that I go, because like I said, I don't go for the candles, and I don't wear body lotion or body sprays, so I don't go for those at all. I am actually first going to talk about the scent portables that I got. I love putting these in my linen cabinets and in just in our closets because it makes them smell so good. They're meant to have in your car, but I also just put them all over my house like in cabinets and it makes them smell really good. I actually picked one up for Steven's car. I love mahogany teak wood for men. It just smells like a man and he seems to like the smell so I picked up a new one for him. His has run out. And for my car I currently have I believe Honolulu Sun which obviously is not a fall smell and I'm pretty sure it is running really low so I'm going to switch that out and use this one and this is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. That is currently the smell I have going on in my house right now. It's very fall-like and I love, love, love this scent. The other one that I really love is leaves. I put two of them in our linen cabinet and it has lasted like a year or more. It's kind of fading away now. I love, love, love that smell. So I picked up three scents for the fall. I currently have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in my living room and it fills up my entire living room and the dining area. I don't like to have a strong scent in our bedroom so I don't have it in that but I also have scents in our bathroom because obviously you want a good smelling bathroom, not a bad smelling bathroom. So I typically only put a wallflower in our living room and our bathrooms and one in our dining room. That way it reaches like the kitchen, the den, like it gets, it just gets everything. So I typically have three going. Right now I only have sweet cinnamon pumpkin because I didn't have anything. So now I picked up another sweet cinnamon pumpkin and I'm going to have this in in our living room once that one runs out. I save the caps and I twist them back on when I feel like I want to switch it to a different scent. It keeps until the following year when I want to put it back into the wallflower plug-in. So this is a backup to last us until December and these do last about a month. Maybe a little less, maybe three weeks, but 
for our bathrooms, I have two sweater weathers because I have two bathrooms. If you don't know the notes of sweater weather, it is sage, juniper berry, aromatic, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. So it's very like woodsy and fresh and clean smelling. So that's why I put it in our bathrooms. For our dining room slash kitchen area, I picked up cranberry woods. And the notes of this are tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. And it smells like a tart cranberry smell. It kind of gives it a bite so that it's not just super sweet. Like, our, like I said, our living room is already sweet from the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I wanted this to be a little more tart. That way it wasn't just all sweet. Steven doesn't love super sweet smells. Neither do I, unless they're like a fruit scent. I don't like sugary scents like vanilla or or marshmallows or anything like that. I picked up two smells, that way I have a couple of them so that once it's December 1st, that's when I'm putting these in. <laughs> they currently only have their fall scents. They have a couple of winter scents or a couple that are out right now for fall, but definitely can be used to transition into winter. So I only picked up two scents uh, because I am waiting for the ones that I really, really like. The first one I have is cinnamon sticks. And if you need to know the notes of this, it is cyclone cinnamon sticks, vanilla, and spiced sugar. This honestly doesn't smell like vanilla and sugar to me. I mean, it does have a sweetness obviously because of cinnamon, but it smells mostly like cinnamon sticks, like a straight up cinnamon stick. Oh, I love that smell for like fall and Christmas. It's, I just love it. So I'm gonna be putting this in my living room and in my dining room this year because I want that smell so bad. Oh, it smells so good. But I usually get um, fresh balsam, but I think this year I'm gonna go, I'm gonna nix fresh balsam and just go with cinnamon sticks because yes. I love the smell of cinnamon and anything covered in cinnamon. <laughs> For our bathrooms, I got the peppermint with essential oils. This is not technically like a Christmas line. This is more of their like aromatherapy line, which I'm not really sure which line specifically because it's not like the stress relief line or or calm or whatever. You, you know the ones that I'm talking about? It's not those ones. It, it I mean, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's new this year, but I don't know. There's one that's incense, almond, frankincense, bergamot, like it just, they all smell so good. Because I was going in to get a couple for winter, I picked up peppermint. It smells like peppermint candy without being too sweet which is exactly what I like, especially for the bathroom because it would be like that refreshing smell of peppermint. The notes are straight up peppermint with peppermint essential oils. I think I'm gonna need to go pick up some more of this, but I figured I would just pick up one since I've never tried this kind before to see how strong it is for the bathroom and if it's strong enough or too strong. Anyway, that completes this video. Comment down below letting me know which scents you usually love to have have, whether it's candles or wallflowers or scent portables, whatever they sell at Bath & Body Works, comment down below letting me know which is your favorite for fall, and then also let me know which is your favorite for the winter. That way I can keep my eyes open for maybe trying a new scent to bring into my house this year. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to ding that bell, that way you are notified for future videos. Bye guys!